Go to guys, my name is Lord Tomo. Welcome again to another Sonic the Hedgehog toy item collective brew. As you know, I'm Lord Tomo with the Blues Tea, good old Sonic the Hedgehog. Holding what would have been the item I would have reviewed during Christmas if it wasn't for the fact that, um, yeah, life. So let's get to the actual review that I was more or less more interested in because this actual item I just received and I was like, you know what, well, I'm going to review this opposed to some small item that is a watch. Anyway, this is a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog from a Joy. Uh, where is it? It's Joy something. Yeah, Joy Smiley Company. Now, I saw this on eBay. There were like two sets. There was this one and another one. The other one's more obscure than this one. This one at least kind of stands stands its time in terms of what it is and how true it is to the Sonic merchandise where the other one doesn't. I will upload, uh, will review and upload the other one as well. So essentially what this is, is for those who may or may not know, in Japan um, exclusively they had like a, what's referred to as Necroid, a, a Necroid, basically they had a mi miniaturized versions of popular IP, one of which being obviously Sonic. This is just not the miniaturized version, so I'm leaning more towards that this is a bootleg. If it's a bootleg, I'm pretty impressed. If it's not a bootleg, i kind of not impressed as much. So it's kind of a Swiss suit. So I'm not entirely sure if this is Japanese or Chinese, either or. If someone can obviously translate that, awesome. If they can't, well, let's just assume it's Asian leads, a uh, combination of all Asian language put into one. So it's got a bunch of, uh, I guess, stuff. No idea what that says. It says Sonic Tejik at the bottom, and it obviously has where it says Good Smiley Company. Um, this is from a series of 214. I tried to do a bit of research as to, to find out if there were others of this particular series. Um, there aren't, not the miniaturized version of course, but the bigger versions of this, not that I could find anyway, could be wrong. At the bottom there's absolutely nothing, at the top there's absolutely nothing, this is basically just plastic, pretty standard. This is the actual one that I also will review, obviously, but yeah, I've never seen, um, yeah, it's interesting. I guess you could, some could argue that this could be from the Sonic Winter Sport game, or you know, the Sonic, uh, you know, Olympic games. I, Highly doubt it. To be honest, I think it's just more or less just Sonic, just with a, I guess, fencing stick. Anyway, at the back you just have what they come in. The one I'm about to review, and but and of course the other one just has a bunch of obligatory sort of information at the bottom. Nothing too crazy there. On the other side is what it is. You can't really speak too much about the box. The box is what it is, just the box. But there are stuff inside. Let's put this aside for now. It does come with something quite oddly interesting. Is this? Now, essentially what this is, uh, for those who are in the know-how of Japan, or for those who are not in the know-how of Japan, essentially just a bar where you would just put this little thing in the stick, and this would actually just hold Sonic by the neck, or by the hip, or anything. Now, I know they come with different versions, these sort of ticks, like, I don't know, I think 9 or 10 or whatever, depending on the size of the figurine you want to basically touch. This one does not, so, once again, bootleg, I don't know. I guess. And uh, let's get into the actual item and put this aside because we don't really care for this. This is the actual item itself. It is remarkably a well done uh, bootleg, if it is a bootleg. Um, if it's not, I'm still nonetheless. It's got pretty decent posability. It's it's pretty flimsy. It's It's got this like weird, 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 weird plastic where if you press it hot, soft enough or hard enough, it just, I don't know, it just has this flimsy sort of plastic. It's sturdy, I'm not saying it's not. I'll give you a good example. Uh, no, I'll probably rip off his feet. Mm, or is it? I don't know. Um, basic to Sonic, of course. It's, it comes with everything. His standard shoes, buckles, everything. Pretty classic. Uh, plastic nuts. Oh, not classic. Model. It's feet go wherever it wants to go. That's why I'm guessing this has this. So this basically just latches onto his neck. Essentially what you're doing is hanging Sonic and rather killing him for the future generations. So the feet have a 360 degree, pretty exorcist type thing, the other side. Um, his arms go up and down, both arms do that. His fists pretty much go a full special in them, and also the other side. And the only difference is this hand, you give him the thumbs up. Obviously, and you got the leg here, which does a 360 as well. So not only do you have the ankle, but you also have the leg itself. At the back, I think this is pretty much, they could have, you know, skipped on the detail, but they didn't. You have his tails, his spikes, well perfectly done, so it's awesome. So, like I said, if this is a bird, like, I'm pretty impressed. Um, on his face, of course, you have his ears and his eyes. Now, 
His eyes seem right to me, at the same time he doesn't. I don't know if that's even a way to describe it, but yeah, it's it's pretty there. Um, the only thing, <laughs> the only small drawback is, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but they literally just drew his mouth with a little pen. And that is that. So essentially, that is the figurine itself. It's, it's, it is what it is. Um, of course, his head spins, if you want to go full exercise on his, you know, body. But yeah, it's pretty impressive to be honest. Um, I have no major AG issues. I saw this and I was just like, you know what? I really, really wanted to get it. And this is not holding onto his neck. Why isn't it holding onto his neck? Let's just kill him there. All right. There we go. So let's move down a bit and have a proper look at him. So that's essentially how it looks pretty much on his stand. So. It's a nice figurine, it, it really is. How much did I get it for? I think I got this for like 30 bucks, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Uh, plus shipping from China, which kind of insinuates it's maybe bootleg, like, I don't know. Uh, Rarity, I saw this on eBay, I'm pretty sure it's still there, I don't know. Check it out. Um, Rarity is 1 out of 10, easy pickup. Is it worth it? You know what? I think it is, it's, it's pretty adorable within itself, I've got no issues with it. Um, other than the fact that the joints are pretty loose, but you know, there are some joints um, in future models where they're so hard, where they're supposedly meant to move, but they don't. At least this gives you the freeway. And plus, there's, it's sturdy enough, though the joints do seem loose, it's sturdy enough to basically hold its stance in whatever position you more or less want it. So it's definitely a nice little piece, you know what? It's definitely worth it. But yeah, look, uh, you know, guys, if, if you're really into this, I recommend go buy it. It's, it's, it's a nice piece. And anyway, I thank you so much for checking out this review. Let me know if you've seen this around. Let me know in your thoughts on it. If you bought one, if not. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out my videos. And we'll go from there. Anyway, guys, speed on and take care.